good evening. Back. More Tears of the Kingdom. Oh, I forgot what I was doing last. It's actually been just a whole day. Oh, we don't need this pin anymore. Pin was for this one. Oh yeah, we did this. Oh, I forgot what killed us here, but... Oh, that was the tower where we had to yeah, climb up and I got blown up here multiple times. We have that? Or is that just pending? In here too. Whistling Hill Cave? Okay. I wanted to go up here. We'd gotten two more stamina wheels. I think we are good to just exploring. Traveling. Finding things. Hey dude, double O. Brush. Need more moblin stuff, so let's take it down. of everything good moblin guts this prized ingredient can be obtained from moblins its odor is too pungent for normal food preparation but stir with some critters to make elixirs oh there was a monster right above you um. one uh, two what are you counting Oh, you know, just the number of grievances I have against certain someone. My brethren have been cut down, you see. The harm we've suffered is truly beyond measure. <laughs> I've eagerly awaited this moment, Link. Huh? This is for my kin! Oh, Yiga Clan. Not a good picture, but it'll do. Yiga Foot Soldier. <laughs> the Eightfold Blade. A single-edged sword of the Sheikah tribe. Its small blade, now decayed, is suited for convert actions and yield more powerful sneak strikes than ordinary blades. I can't that. Hold up, what I can do though. I'll leave that one for now. Or, oh, I could use another piece of amber. How much amber do I have? 39? Okay, yeah, I could definitely just another piece of amber. It's actually weaker. But better at sneak strikes? Yeah, improved sneak strikes. 
looking like there's anything else down here. The Yiga clan member training. Lizards. Rosh probably flying down into that one cave. We've already been down there. I was wondering why it hit me. Oh, okay. I was not expecting that to do so much damage. They do a lot of damage in this game. But Kyle, all the enemies hit really hard. I'm way too lax when it comes to these enemies. Nice, Halberd. Nice. One moment, I just got a message. Gotta check what it is. <laughs> Important. Now decayed, this Halberd was made for Knights of Hyrule. It reflects their courage in defending the kingdom. It can yield powerful attacks when you're down to your last heart. There's that one piece of metal I attached to my shield. I guess I could attach it to another shield, like this one. What am I whistling? Before I get rid of this weapon, because it's already been damaged, I thought I saw a rock somewhere. There we go.
Alright, I got enough double-handed swords, so I'm gonna take the spear. Ooh, Fallen Star. Uh, let's see. What do I want to put on this? Put that. Could add an element to it. I don't really want to, though. I think I'm just gonna take one of these. There we are. When the glow of the blood stained moon. Yes, Zelda. Love the, the moon for some reason this time around. Oh, all the enemies are back. I wonder what happens if you take a star piece and attach it to a weapon or something or a shield. Is it worth trying? Say why not? Uh, but we gotta figure out what we're gonna attach it to. We have a gloom sword. I don't want to mess with the gloom sword though. Eightfold blade. We got this one. Isn't that special? So yeah, we'll do that. Flip it. I want to see what happens if you attach a star to it, if you can. Gotta make it over there now. Oh wow, got their own little carts. Spiked Boko Bow. Drop this one. Another Spiked Boko, or are we good? We're good. Well, they carry treasure chests, too. Yeah. I want to climb up on this real quick. See what this is. Okay, some arrows. Bad. Yeah. 
like that. You can just flip into the cart now. Let's see if this works. Okay, I don't know if it does anything special. It looks neat. It kind of just lights up the area. Oh, we won't use it until we get like into a cave or something. Where was I heading? I was heading to the Great Plateau. I think it was over there. The horse is a bit quicker. Don't you walk away from me. Take this off you. Hold up, I want to take it off you, horse. I guess I can't. I'm really stuck by glue. I'm going to stop and talk to the Goron. Last time I talked to someone, I got my outfits. Gems aren't just pretty little rocks, you know. Take them to a shop to make easy money. If you gather lots, you'll get rich quick. Of course, that's not the only thing you can do with gems. Take, for example, the sapphire. It's cool and pleasant on the tongue. Or try a ruby, which offers a tender and delicious or delicate warmth. Mm, I'm drooling again. That's why we're saving our ruby sword. We're going to the cold region. Apparently the cold region is the first area, so the Rito village. So keeping our ruby sword to keep us warm if we need it. That cave. I've already been in there. Kuda eyeball. Oh. Whoa, okay. They were eating anything behind. Right, I think we're good with the horse. We're close enough to the plateau. Did they uncover an entrance there now? Or has that always been there? 
I don't think it has been. Ah, oh, not again. I don't really have a lot. They don't want to fight these guys right now. I already fought two of them, so I'm running a little low. Water. Find out. That's neat. Now we can go up the plateau without having to find a way up. It's a Poe. You who hear my voice. Come to me in the Temple of Time Ruins, up the road on the plateau to the south. Okay. I've never seen them do that attack. I was not expecting that. Oh, well, good to know that they have uh, new headbutt attacks. One of his head looks special, so take him out. Fact. Gary picture. Have a nice looking horn. I wonder it did so much damage. A vicious three pronged horn. Attach it to a weapon to greatly increase its attack power or kick with the critter to make an elixir. Another one of these. I'm not quite sure where 
put that on, if anything. <laughs> Interesting looking. A mushroom. Why are you coming at me with a Hylian shroom on your stick? That, uh. Get toasty. Nothing happened. find something to damage him. Oh, it went through him? Jeez. I need more bomb. Bomb flowers. Or I could just use my sword. I totally forgot about that. I don't know how I forgot. one of these. I love the axes pretty much take them out in one hit. Still hit me. Sure. 
terrible. I got that, so I can... Bouncy stick. Armoranth. This tough medicinal plant cannot be broken, but it can be cooked. Its durable yet flexible fibers raise your defense when cooked into a dish. Random treasure box? There's something good. A royal shield, wow. And it's not even decayed. A shield issued to the Hyrulean royal family's immediate guard detail. Boasts a high defense, but these days it's more a collector's item due to its ornamentation. Still, very good shield compared to the shields I have. And the highest being 50. Still draining the water from the gate, a part of me has been freed. You have earned my gratitude. I speak to you now from the depths below in the guise of the statue. All from the depths. Oh, it's the oh, statue. You hear my voice. Okay. I direct you to the four chasms across this plateau. Each one has one of my eyes nearby. Drop them into the chasms. Deliver the stones to me, who dwells in the depths below this temple. Do all of this, and a, and a reward will be yours. I got some work to do. Huck. 
Hut. 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 Nostalgic fabric. Tough fabric bearing a nostalgic design. It looks like it could be used to make a paraglider. Oh, can we design our paragliders? Kind of neat. No sword in the stone. Instead, you get a Korok. All the way back to where this game first started. Not this one, but just the whole story. That's cute. Little bloopy on the, the ledge. I guess that's like Link. Blue Nightshade. Plant that grows in quieter areas of Hyrule. At night, it gives off a soft glow. Cook it, cook with it to increase your stealth. Grand Resurrection. Seems a bit of overgrown. Oh? That's neat. It's up a little light. Hot water? Looks like almost like a fairy's cave. Oh, let's go further down. Fire. Eightfold long blade. A long blade no longer cuts as well as it once did, due to its decayed, decayed edge. However, when yielded or wielded by a proficient fighter, it cleaves the wind and creates a vacuum.
a good idea, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Oh. Not bad. And it'll cleave the wind. Uh-oh. <laughs> the noble swordsman scrounging for scraps. You fell for the oldest trick in the book. You stumbled into a secret storehouse for treasures from the depths. And now that you've seen it, I can't let you live. Your life ends today. That was easy. Got over here. Torch. <laughs> Banana blade. Author authorizer verified. Thank you for driving away the intruders. Those interlopers carried me here with them from the depths. I have no way of returning to where I was stationed there. I will therefore continue my work here. My task ended up was to manage schema stones. A great deal of zoonite was mined and processed there once. I have something for you, but I do not think you are ready to receive it. Please visit the great abandoned central mine in the depths and return hereafter. Banana blade. Oh, and then you can go back down. I accidentally pressed V instead of A. Bomb flower. the river of the dead oh cold Something's built there now by the waterfall. Oh, it's too cold. Great chasm, right? Yeah, right next to the water. Oh, are they where the shrines used to be? They are. The original four shrines used to be. Drop the stones in. Oh, they sped that up. They sped this up quick. There it is. See it. Uh. 
guess you could have actually made an ice weapon using those. Cold because I switched weapons. Next time you see a piece of ice, we'll try it. Big pine cone on the head. Ice Keys eyeballs are immune with freezing power and are useful in making elixirs. Attach one to an arrow to grant a homing quality to the arrow. A rare ice key swing. Don't let its pretty frozen surface fool you. It blasts out a dangerous, dangerous freezing frost and stimulate it. Oh shoot. Might want to use that. This. Oh, do I have a picture of him? No. Pinecone. A hefty horn with multiple tough barbs. Attach it to open to greatly increase its attack power. Or click with the critter to make an elixir. I want to find more ice and oh, I want to find more ice and see if I can make the a weapon from it. I'm going to be diving down into one of the chasms. Oh, 
You want to go up there, though. said in the previous game this is probably where um, King Hyrule was buried I wonder if the Royal Claymore is an indicator for that I didn't even mean to remove the rock. Oh no, I, oh yeah, there's the rock right up front. Funny. Look at that, it's a little, kinda cool. The other one's this way. enemies down there. That'll hit, but let it roll. Did they seem to fly a little slower? I had a feeling it was going to be underneath it. Places left. Oh, someone lives here now. Oh, that looks dangerous. Did the goblins move in? No. Get a Shika door. Who's there? Wait, you. You're Link? I thought you ambushed us, did you? Well, you're the one getting something. Okay, just skip it. Okay. Um, hmm. Ah, jeez.
totally forgot the weapon I was using is not a spear. Okay, uh, does seem interesting. At least I can prepare a little bit for it now. You're the one getting ambushed today. All right, there you go. That's what they said. I can. Okay, wow. <laughs> this again. Ugh. This is not going well. The big dude's tough. Alrighty, what to do to prepare for this? Gloom sword. I could go full on Gloom Sword. I don't want to waste it though. Three, not bad. All right, let's give this a shot. Hard. If I could take him out, we'll be good. Cleaver and turn it into another one of these. Not a big fan of the two handed weapons in right now. Everything's a little bit quicker. Hm. After some. I'm working as fast as I can. Please just give me a little more time. Wait, you're not one of them. You chased off the Yiga clan? You mean I can get out of here? Ah. Hurrah! Those Yiga guys are forcing me to make weird outfits for them. It was awful. Why me? Your guess is as good as mine. Maybe because of my reputation for flashy fashion. I only let CC brand threads touch this body. I want this mask I made to fall into their hands, but I can't bring it with me. Ah. Say, would you want to take this? The Yiga mask! A mask supplied to members of the Yiga clan. It covers the entire face, keeping even breath sounds to a minimum. Perfect for sneaking, but lacks protection due to its light material. Oh. The thing is decidedly not my style, but, it's, but if it's yours, more power to you. I'm actually dressed like this so that I can confess my feelings to the woman who stole my heart. Her name is Nobo. She's beautiful, with a fashion sense that rivals my own. She's probably at a stable somewhere, I think. Maybe. Oh. At any rate... We're meant to be, so I know that fate will guide me toward her. Take care now. I hope you find someone to love too. Okay. 
Okay, well... We can now dress as a Yiga member. Maybe, maybe there'll be a sneaking mission. Oh! Is that gonna show me where the rest of the outfits are? Alright, we're in the center with the Great Plateau. Apparently there's one north. One to the west. One northeast. The Yiga Bulletin confidential updates from their hideout. Item 1. Our research division has developed new vehicles. The Gloom Dredger and Hover Doom MK3. If one of these vehicles is damaged, please contact the member of the research division in the depths right away. Item 2. It is, an it is imperative that all espionage agents in the field learn the Earthwake technique. Earthwake technique can only be learned at the hideout's training area. You learn them too. Is that a picture of? Demon? Oh, I guess that's a picture of Link. Yeah, because of the, <laughs> the blonde hair. I don't look like that. I don't think I do. What do they want me to put here? Bananas, I bet. Hey, Foxclaw, how are you doing? Bet it's three bananas. Aha! Excuse me. I heard that the Yiga clan had a branch in this area. If that's true, then it's important. I give it a wide berth. Anything like watching YouTube YouTube videos or something? Do you know the Yiga clan or this nefarious branch of theirs? I'm familiar. Mm. Would like to have run across such a kind and knowledgeable soul. Luckier still. I now have a souvenir to bring home. Just stay right there and I'll take your head. Oh jeez. Alright, bring another one. Twitch and Discord. <laughs> a tail. Is that Nydra? Well, sometimes you just gotta stay away from it. I mean, no one can remove your gamer card, <laughs> no matter what the reason. Figured it out. I 
I love the new Korok puzzles. Ooh, you got Bayonetta 3. I want to eventually play that one. And, uh, I don't think, if you don't have an interest in Legend of Zelda, I don't think that takes away your gamer card or anything. Uh, not everyone's a Zelda fan. That is perfectly fine. Play what you enjoy. One left. Another falling rock. But that one looked to be even higher. Did they hear something? <laughs> Gonna go to the side. Three. Then go up. Okay, this is as high as it went. I this is where it went, um, higher. We can go down there. Ooh, this is creepy. We have to find a way to get back into the center. <laughs> that. Oh, is that going to make a huge vehicle?
Ooh, that's not exactly how I want that to go. Come on, come on. Okay, there's a board. Don't have to use wheels. I'd be better. Hmm. Oh, it's got no wheels on it. There's only three wheels, no, there's four. <laughs> I hope this works. Um, it might not. I think I need a control panel. I don't think the board has a control panel. Oh, it shows forward, forward, make sure they're on right. These apparently are not, but this one isn't. Didn't see it. We could still. Hold up, hold up. They'll do this. It's not with this. It'll look weird. Once again, if it works, oop, then I don't even care. It'll work. Little, ah, whatever, it's fine. Wait, aren't these like headlights? <laughs> it looks so nutty. I love it though. What is this thing? I have no idea what this does. I think this is another headlight.
It's going backwards. No. <laughs> Them facing the wrong way. If so, I could just eat. Oops. Do I even need the fans for this? Let me check. I don't need the fans. I just gotta be able to control it now. Now getting up there is the tough part. <laughs> I can still just climb up the back. Like a little bit. Last location? Light route? Huh. I wonder what those are. To be at the entrances. Oh, it should be these four entrances. Okay, so one, two, three. Three more. Oh, the Traveler's Claymore. I don't really need it right now. Thank you, though.
tower over there. Oh, Monster Hunter Rise updated. I wonder what updated. New one, Monster Hunter Rise. What's going on? Interesting. Oh, we lost it, but look at this. that control panel go? That's a rock. Alright, let's go ahead and grab one of these. Toss it. Grab these pose real quick. Absolutely love this. <laughs> it's simple, but it works. How far is the next one?
Alright, we got two left. If I could put it on the rails. Woohoo! It works. We can get over this. Yeah. Doesn't quite look like where we want to go, though. Oh, we got new wheels. I actually prefer the ones I have because it's just a little um that's what I'm looking for. I have more control. That can actually move pretty quickly if you push forward. Oh, I think I see why you need to have the flying one though. Maybe not necessarily.
Wow. Land on our here. to bring this up the next step. If we can get to the next spot. Next spot. R. They're like way down there. So we landed. Is that it? Out of my car. Oh, it was another one of those statues. That one, too. I thought I left it here. Then I decided to go up here.
Must have reset my car for some. Maybe it's up here. I think I might have teleported my car away. I might have to start this over. It was down there. Let me find my car. Abandoned central mine. Well, it looks like I'm about to do the eye thing again, which I don't mind. It was fun making the car. We're just gonna have to find another way to carry everything with us and not separate. But now that we actually have the area lit up, I don't have to actually leave it behind and light the area up. Large zoanite. Statue of them. Huge. I think you're supposed to explore this. This is the elevator right here.
Oh, it's the giant post. This is where we post put the eyes. I'm right in the center. And more statues, but it's of the uh, the female Hylian. It's the wife, the other one, maybe. I'm gonna take one more look down here. If it's not there, then we can teleport to one of the spots and try to redo the eye part. But I guess you don't need to collect all four at once. We got some weapons here. Miner's trousers. The bioluminescent lamps on these trousers shed light where you step. They come in handy when walking in the darkness. Awesome. <laughs> they glow. I was saying if there's anything down here. Looks like we got some shiny rocks. a big one. Figured it'd go or it'd get weakened soon. I was kind of hoping it would lead somewhere though. So I'll use that. If anybody likes mining, this is where you need to be. Already damaged. Alright, that's enough of that. Very close to this one. Let's get out of this hole. We won't teleport, we'll try to get to the other one. I have lots of Zionite. I want to hit them, but I don't want to. Well, I'm holding on to this weapon for anyway.
right way. Might be able to take a minecart all the way through. Here? Isn't it ours? Hold up. This is the We're gonna go ahead and save it right here. The next time I stream this, we'll get all those eyes back to the center and get a reward. As if these pants weren't reward enough. I love these pants. <laughs> Anyhow, thank you for what. Ooh, what's happening? Oh, jeez. Actually, give me a cobblin. Um, arm. Oops. What happens if you take something like this horn? Have an arm. Get a pretty strong weapon. Probably not that durable though. Alright. Save it one more time. Because we got a new weapon. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye, everybody.